Hello, my name is Brian from Epic Energy Technology and I'm going to talk about engine carbon cleaning using the EP350B. First, check the level inside the water tank. Remember that each procedure uses about 500 cc's of water. Make sure all gas has been vented. Verify that the 350 is connected to a proper electrical circuit and turn on the power switch. The process takes about 40 minutes, so make sure the vehicle has enough fuel. Close the gas outlet valve. Connect the gas hose to the EP350V. Disconnect the quick coupler. Flush out the hose with shop air to get rid of any moisture and or dust. Then reconnect the quick coupler. Next, find a suitable vacuum port on the vehicle's engine. Disconnect the hose from the vacuum port. Now connect the hose from our machine to the vacuum port. Use a T-fitting if needed for advanced engine configurations. Diesel engines don't have vacuum ports, so our gas hose can simply be fed into the main air intake past the air filter. The setup is now complete and you are ready to go. Now start the engine and let it idle. Make sure the transmission is in park or neutral for manual transmissions. Turn off the air conditioning and all other accessories and engage the parking brake. Turn on the EP350B. Verify that the gas outlet valve is closed. Confirm that the engine is running. Using a vacuum gauge ensures that engine vacuum is present. Make sure the engine is at normal operating temperature. Start gas production now. The word gas will change to a black background and you will see the machine begin to use current to make oxyhydrogen gas. Let internal pressure rise until the word pressure changes to a black background. After checking once again that the engine is running, and vacuum is present, open the gas valve slowly. Now let the enhanced fuel mixture penetrate and loosen up the carbon deposits inside the engine. Voltage and current should remain stable during this time. The pressure should be adjusted to keep a stable value between 2 and 5 psi. The carbon cleaning process takes 40 minutes. The automatic timer will trigger the buzzer and stop gas production after 40 minutes. Now close the gas outlet valve completely and let the engine continue to run. Rev up the engine a few times to blow out accumulated moisture and carbon. Now you can turn off the engine. Disconnect the oxyhydrogen gas hose and reconnect the original vacuum line. If you analyze the emissions before and after, you will see the environmental benefit of EPIC's carbon cleaning process. We recommend two weeks after so that even the hard carbon will have been extracted by driving. Horsepower and torque should be noticeably higher too. Please allow 10 minutes between carbon cleaning procedures. I hope you enjoyed this video. Epic thanks you very much.